Well, this is Redneck Ridge here. Um, I promised a while back to do an update video on the chicken coop, so this is a chicken coop update. Recently, we changed where the door was at. The door was there. We changed where the wheel is at. With it. We had my dad weld an axle. So there's an axle under it instead of just a bolt sticking through like it was. It didn't work out, so... Didn't figure it would, but you gotta work with what you have, so... We had to move the door in order for the axle to fit under there with the wheels. We moved them forward. They were back here where the door's at. And it just put too much weight. But I'm trying to figure out how to get this where I can move it uh, by hand. Not with a vehicle or anything. So, this is just an oven grate with rabbit wire on it. They use it. And you come in here... We've just got a little nest box sitting down here. Um, two poles for roost. There's only 14 birds that use this. It's big enough. Most of them roost on the same bar. They come out in the day. They don't stay in here. So Then you got the door up here. It's actually two doors, but they're drilled together right now for the simple fact that we put a tarp on top. I've got just a little stop block here, and it stops right here. And you take and put a board in it, just holds it up. There's a center brace, make sure it doesn't bow. We've got the front legs, which are just two before it's cut off. This is all pretty much built out of scrap. Every bit of it is just scrap stuff I've gotten from somewhere else. When you got the nest box. It's built off the back of it. We have a whole bunch of old plastic bags around it. Helps waterproof it a little. But this opens up and then there's enough room for like three hens sitting next to each other in there. Got a little opening in the front. And this is just a spring with chain. We just pull it and it goes up and attaches to a screw. And come around back, you can see the other tire, and then I've got metal on the back here. But I've also got a tarp that we put on it because it was leaking through the top. But I figured I'd go ahead and do this update video on the chicken coop. This here is actually a window. I've just got it covered up with cardboard for now. Until all this cold is over. This lifts up and locks into place just with a little and just turn the board it's on each side and it's not going anywhere I've just got some fencing staples down here work in the place of hinges But pretty much every bit of this is scrap from something else. Even the wheels, they're off an old wheelchair, so. You can do all kinds of stuff with just what you have. Just don't let anyone really tell you different. Try it, I mean. How you know that you've succeeded if you haven't failed before? You can't just go off what everyone else says. Do what works for you. This is all built with scrap. The entire thing. The metal scrap someone gave us on the roof and on the back. The oven grates are scrap. My dad works for a trailer company and we get oven grates all the time. Um, all the wood is scrap from someone else. Like I said, the tires are off an old wheelchair that didn't work anymore. So I took the tires and the bolts off and we welded a piece of angle iron with the bolts in the end of it. And it's really sturdy. It's holding. Then this, this is just like an old piece of signpost metal or something like that. This, the spring is just a scrap spring from somewhere. Chain, chain's just scrap. Then there's just a screw. Heck, I think the only thing in here that's not scrap is the screws. 
even the hinges that are holding it came from somewhere else. They weren't bought. None of this was. And these, these are off my old brooder I had in the house. So was the bottom of it. The bottom was a old brooder and I took it and I built it up. Then I put the lid on. So, well, you get, I promised an update and there's your update. We did lose a few birds through the winter. I mean, it happens. It got really, really cold. It got way down below zero that one, one night at least. It's been a really, really cold winter. We're down to 14 birds for me and Ash. Well, Ashley. Ash is what I call her, but she is my wife, so. And we had to take off the netting on here because it collapsed. It collapsed. It had snow on it. The whole thing collapsed. It was just ridiculous. So, there's your update video, and this is Redneck Ridge, and we'll see you later.